And tonight, Georgia Tech is a leading developer of artificial intelligence. You might have heard it called AI, but one of its researchers tell 11 Alive News he is concerned about how good it's gotten over the last six months. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more on what's at stake. Hey Siri, it's called a smartphone because it has basic artificial intelligence. An enhanced AI app was a blessing to Tiambre. Well, I'm a student. She's a college student who says she used AI to help write a term paper. Yep, it will give me a whole paper in five minutes. Now you're not really supposed to do that, right? Everyone cheats in college. She didn't want us to use her last name. Tiambre is an enthusiastic 21st century acolyte of AI, which has developed in part at Georgia Tech's Expressive Machinery Lab. It's increased like a lot in the past like six months. Professor Brian McGurko started the lab as an AI enthusiast and he still is, but. I think it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be an absolute mess because it's opening up this weird Pandora's box of, of, of expectation. Hey Siri, McGurko says the tech isn't the problem. Robots can't take over the world. It won't happen now or in the future. Are people smart enough? I don't know if it's about being smart enough. I think it's more about how much it, tr uh, how tricky these tools are. McGurko says the biggest challenge now is how corporations and politicians use AI to shape viewpoints and workforces. It's very much a tool that are in the hands of people. And I think we need to be much more concerned about how people use these tools than the tools themselves. Tools that McGurko says are becoming commonplace by way of new AI apps like the one Tiambre used. But AI, it helped me, but deep down it's, it's not good. But you know, I had to do what I had to do. Hey Siri, how likely is uh -huh. human extinction from artificial intelligence? The probability of this type of scenario is widely debated. Artificial intelligence has many answers. Wisdom is still under development. In Midtown, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.